Hey guys, welcome to my video channel. I'm Grey Chow. Today in this video, I'm going to share with you how to transform this photo from this to this with only simple adjustment tools from Adobe Lightroom. Before that, in case you may be interested in improving your photography and post-processing skills, I have a few upcoming workshops and you can check out them in the below description of this video. So here's the question, do you really need those advanced but crazily complicated adjustments in order for us to come out a good photo? Well, not really. Let me share you a story of mine. A few years ago, when I was still in the middle of developing my post-processing gear, I was doing an editing. And I tried to apply some adjustment to the photo, but then the result was less satisfied. I don't know what was wrong, so I tried to apply more adjustments to the photo. And hopefully, it will solve the problem. But then it turned out, that it didn't work. So I can't figure out why I try to apply more adjustment and using some of the more complicated adjustment like luminosity masking to the photo, but I still can't get it right. So um, I was so fed up and I gave up temporarily for that time until I met a friend. And a friend of mine, he He's a very talented photographer, so he shared with me how he do the editing. It was very interesting before he did any adjustment to his photo, and he will first look at his photo first and try to identify what he need to do to his photo. So he will say something like, oh, so look at the sky, it's overexposed. So how should I solve this? The way he described it is like a problem solving process. And then only I realized that it's not really of what technique or what kind of adjustments that I need to do. It's that what I want to create. Okay, so basically it's that I have to spend some time to look at the photo first and analyze it, trying to pre-visualize that what is the output, what kind of thing that I want to produce. Then only I find the right adjustment to apply in order to create the result that I want. So it doesn't matter whether it's complicated or is it simple adjustment. Okay, it's more important is that you need to know that what you need to do. Okay, so to give you a better idea, let me demo to you by doing post-processing on this photo here. As you can see, I already have a photo imported into my Lightroom here. And this photo is a photo of the Kinkaju Temple in Kyoto, Japan. And because tripod is not allowed there, so I was forced to take the photo using handheld. In order for me to capture the photo handheld, I have to boost up my ISO to using ISO 400. Also, the photo was taken at 70mm focal length at f5.6 aperture and also 1 over 60 seconds of speed. And because I was shooting handheld, so I can't do bracketing, I have to slightly underexpose the photo to maybe under one, I think under two, around two stops exposure here, so that I won't ever expose my sky. So the photo appeared to be a bit dark here. As I mentioned before, before applying any adjustment to the photo, first, let's have a good look at this photo. So as you can see, obviously the photo appeared to be too dark, so I'm going to brighten the photo later. And also, the sky, the color of the sky is a bit dull. This photo was taken during the sunset and it's supposedly to have some orange color on the sky. And because it is almost overexposed, it's not overexposed but almost, so that's why the color doesn't show here. So let's try to darken the sky and so you see. So as you can see that if I darken the exposure, so the color started to show. So let's reset it for now first. And the next thing I'm going to do is also, after brighten the photo, darken the sky, another thing that I'm going to do is to crawl the photo because I really don't like the leaf here. And also I don't like this red color leaves here too. And this foreground basically, there's nothing interesting here. So I'm going to make it less obvious. So I can't, I can't fully crop it out the whole area 
because it will affect my composition so I'm going to make it less obvious by darkening it and also maybe desaturate it later so and I want people to focus more on my main subject here which is the golden temper I like that so I'm going to make it more pop later and also I really like the red color leaves here and this area so I'm going to emphasize that too so now we have done the analysis so let's start to do the editing now when I do the editing I will start from the top to the bottom so let's start with the exposure so I'm going to slightly brighten the photo okay um, for the contrast, I think I will remain it because as the photo itself is already have a very strong contrast here so I'm not going to touch that so I'm going to decrease the highlight to recover some color on the sky yeah, much better now and also slightly brighten the shadow and also darken the white I use, after I adjust the highlights and the shadow, I will use white and also black slider to further fine tuning these two areas. So for the black one, let's try to recover a bit more detail here. Yeah, it looks good. And now I can see the photo better. So I'm going to try to adjust the white balance. So I'm going to make it more orange. So I'm going to add more warm tone to the photo. Yeah. Um, much better now. Yeah, I got too much rest reduce a little bit. Yeah, that will work. For the tint, yeah, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going, not going to change that. And um, next is the texture. The, I'm going to increase the texture so that it will help to boost up the sharpness of the detail here and also the clarity. So in order for me to sharpen the edges here, but be careful with the clarity slider. If you increase too much, you're going to increase the contrast to the photo so you're going to make, look very ugly here so let's reduce here yeah that'll work so also a bit vibrant yeah well the saturation default already increased but i think that was speed that was too much so i'm going to reduce it a little bit here okay that works so now we have done the over adjustment. The over adjustment is like a base adjustment so that I can further improve my photo using selective adjustment tools here. And selective adjustment tools is the key to how to transform your photo to a different level. Before I move to the selective adjustment, I need to crop the photo. And also I'm going to remove the red color leaf here. So I'm going to use the spot remover tool here and adjust the brush size and put on here so you can see the leaf is gone now so and also let's crop the photo by holding down the shape button so that I can maintain the same ratio and I'm going to crop the photo like this so that people will focus more on my main subject here a better composition too. So now let's start the select adjustment. I'm going to use the graduated filter here. And I'm going to do something on this area. So I'm going to put a line here. Let's try to reset this first. Decrease the highlight here. And also reduce the saturation here. Yep, much better now. And the next thing I want to do here is to enhance the color of the sky. So I'm going to create another graduated filter. So I'm going to put another line here from the top to the horizon. And instead of adjusting the exposure slider, as you can see that I will have a dark edge here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to adjust the highlight. So you can see I can darken the sky without affecting the forest here. Okay, much better. So let's add one more. So 
for this one just further darken it the edge here yeah, is that this one too yep much better now and the next thing I want to do is I want to emphasize this golden temper here so uh, this time I'm going to use another selective adjustment too which is the radio filter so let's draw a circle here make sure the invert checkbox is checked and uh, let's adjust the size here so what I'm going to do here is just slightly brighten the temper and also I'm going to saturate it more make it more pop here and also maybe adding a little bit clarity yeah so other than that I also want to emphasize the tree here the leaf the red color leaves let's try to bring up the highlight oh, forgot to check this yeah much better duplicate it Area. here let's fill it in much here so we're going to readjust here so for here let's try to enhance it just a little, not too much yep let's try to add one more adjustment and this time on this area you know, I feel that this area is still a bit too dark here so I'm going to recover some detail here Let's reduce the highlight. Yeah, much better. So also here. I don't want to increase the highlight, but only the shadow area. Yeah, we're going to touch this black adjustment. Just shadow adjustment will fine. Okay, let's see. Much better now. So one more adjustment, so what I'm going to do here is to add the vignette to the photo. So I'm going to add another circle here. Adjust the size. And this time I want to darken whatever outside the circle. Yep much better now so before I end this one last adjustment so what I need to do is to pull out the shadow here so you shorten the shadow by adding some white here and also to recover back the contrast I'm going to put out here and the highlight area Okay, so let's see before and after. I think that's too much. So let's reduce a little bit here. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, much better. So let's check out the before and after. So before, after. There's a huge improvement, right? And as you can see that I didn't apply any complicated adjustment. What I did was just using the overall adjustment, pulling a few slider here, and also the selective adjustment like the graduator filter and also the radio filter here. It doesn't matter whether you are using a simple adjustment tools or maybe some complicated post-processing technique to edit your photo. What's really important is to identify that what you want to produce okay to pre-visualize the outcome of the editing then only you apply all the necessary adjustments 
to create what you have in your mind here. So I think that's all for this video. So if you want to learn more from me, I have a few blog posts at my website. So you can check out that in the below description of this video. Also, if you want to attend any of my workshop, you can check out that also in the below description. So that's all for this video. If you like it, feel free to share it with your friends. And also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my video channel. Um, yeah, that's all. See you.